Hello everybody, Graham here and welcome to another Terraria tutorial. Now in this tutorial I'm actually going to show you how to defeat the Wall of Flesh on Expert, which believe me is no easy task. So let's get straight into it and I'm going to show you what items I used to actually defeat the Wall of Flesh. Now notice I say used because I'm actually recording this after I defeated the Wall of Flesh purely so I knew the strategy worked and because I actually forgot to record this section before I went to fight him. But anyway, it doesn't really matter, I'm showing you now. So, the main weapon, or the main item I used, was actually dynamite sticks. Now, dynamite sticks are super effective against the wall of flesh. They're not as effective as they used to be, because the developers actually reduced the damage that they do, but they're still a really super effective strategy against the wall of flesh. Now, normally you have to weaken him using the dynamite sticks, and you weaken his health till he's got a little tiny wee slither of red, and then you can just finish him off with something like the bean aids, or the multi and Fury Bow, but actually when I fought him, I didn't have to use any of those things to fight him specifically. I mainly just used Dynamite Sticks. So the other thing, again, is the Bean Aids for finishing him off and the multi Molten Fury Bow using Hellfire Arrows. Now the reason I'm using Hellfire Arrows over other arrows is because Hellfire Arrows are like mini grenades. They're great for taking down multiple enemies, specifically those little worm guys, you know, the hungry that the Wall of Flesh fires at you, you know, the bats down there, the demons, anything that attacks you, and there is a lot that attacks you in hell. Um, it's a pretty effective weapon against them, and so is the bean aids. Now, another thing that's just really handy, more specifically when you're actually heading to uh, awaken the wall of flesh is the imp staff because if you summon an imp while you're heading along your map and I'll show you what I mean so I actually built a really long road I had to travel along to get to the end so while I was walking this way um, a lot of enemies were spawning behind me now the imp was like an early warning system so if the imp started attacking something behind me I could then use my weapons to finish them off so that if I was running this way from the wall of flesh it wouldn't specifically, they wouldn't get in my way. More specifically the slimes because the slimes actually release lava and I wasn't using an obsidian potion. As you can see I actually defeated the wall of flesh around this section which is about halfway through um, and there, it's about 3,000 blocks long so I probably didn't need as much as I used. Um, 1,500 would do fine but it all depends on how quickly and how well you time the TNT. Uh, to blow up on the actual wall of flesh itself. I started building a secondary path here That didn't really pan out because it wasn't really where I wanted to be I wanted to be higher, but it actually worked quite well as a redundancy So if my TNT didn't hit the wall of flesh it would then fall down the hole into this one And I'd have a second attempt at it. So really two lines were quite effective when using the TNT strategy Um the armor I'm using is the Molten Armor, which is probably the best pre-harm mode armor you can get. It gives you 26 defense and it also gives you additional melee damage, which wasn't really needed against this wall of flesh um, that I fought. Uh, Hermes Boots, obviously for running. Fart in a Jar for a double jump and because it's hilarious to listen to. Um, the Cobalt Shield, so you're not knocked back by anything. And the Shoe Spikes, which I didn't really need. I also took Archery Potion as well because... Uh, it gives you an extra 20% damage on your arrows and it speeds them up a wee bit, which is really handy um, as well. So I think with all that being said, let me show you the actual boss fight itself. 